and today I want to teach you how to solve the 2 times 2 Rubik's Cube. Um, so it's also called the Mini Cube. You might uh, see it. So the 2 times 2 Cube is kind of an easy cube. Don't say it's too hard. It's actually pretty easy. It's like, yeah, really easy to learn because, yeah, it's, hmm, you can see. So let me just mess it up so um, I can teach you guys. Also, just saying, at first, don't matter on your speed. You get to, like, see your accuracy. So, now, um, the whites are here. So, you can pick a color of your favorite color. And, yeah, but to beginners, I like to use white. So, the white is on top. And, you see, this corner I picked is white, green, and orange. So, I usually like to hold it like this somehow so like yeah so now this face is facing you so you can't like see the screen here so find another one with white and green so this one appears to be right here so just turn it on top so you, this one's correct now again hold it like this my right there and it's red and it's right over here oh gosh i got some luckiness today to the last one it might be a, kind of uh, tricky so it's right over here all you have to do is first turn this down and then while it will not destroy any of the white ones just put it here and then turn it back up if you're not familiar with this you might want to just play with your cube and discover all of these stuff and that might help you so then the next step is to get like all of these in place so right now you see um these are these look like this so first find any corner it doesn't like have to be yellow on top for example i choose this this corner it's yellow um orange and green so now you find one that is that has um orange and green so it's right over here and just put this on top don't matter if like if this one's yellow just you know that it's in the right place because yeah so now i see that two of these are correct you can see like this that one's correct but these two should is not correct so this one should be here so this should be turned like that so um there's this algorithm to it so it goes like this You're just, um so for my case there are two correct so you're going to put it on the back side and you're going to hold it like this there's also another possibility that you're going to only get one that's correct if there is only one that's correct you're going to hold it here like yeah if it's here but it's just a pretend if it's like that and another possibility is four of them are correct so if that's correct then great you're like already done with this step you can just move on to the next step so now since this is my possibility again i'm going to put it on the back and the algorithm is like this there so now you can see for my possibility i mean my case this one's again in the wrong position but all you have to do is just turn it once or twice or yeah so then you notice that all of these are actually correct now okay now these aren't correct i mean it's these aren't on all yellow yet so my case it's a um not such a lucky case but in a lucky case you might get like it's automatically correct then you're done with this cube but usually you won't get them like what i have right now but since we are already like these are in the right place just that you might want to turn it because that's illegal on some of the cubes you can't turn it um like most two times two cubes can't do that but some three times three cubes can do that so now what you have to do is just hold it like this so the white is on top again and you can see this so there is an algorithm so all you have to do is this this that that so now it's kind of messed up but don't worry it 
um, it will get solved later. So you're going to keep repeating this tiny algorithm with four moves until this yellow part is down here. Okay, so I had to do it four times. You might have to do it two or four. And then when this one's, like, the yellow's on the bottom, move on to the next one by simply turning it like this. And then you're just going to keep doing that until this one's here. See? Somehow this just got solved again. But since you might ruin it later. So, yeah. This one's ruined again. The top layer. But just keep doing it and you'll notice something. This is the last step. It's really easy. You notice it. I mean, all you have to do is this. Okay. So now you know how to solve your 2 times 2 Rubik's Cube. It's one of the easiest Rubik's Cubes, again, and this is a great version of how to do it. So it's a great method, and it's also an easy one for beginners. So I wish you learned something new, and bye-bye.